Hey yo guys, it's Pokey Bex baby. Today we're back with reaction. Today we're we'll reacting to Yana Mines. And he made a video recently called, you know, should you finance, should you lease, should you rent, should you buy your cars? And this is a big, big topic that I would like to see, you know, his opinion on it. And with Yana Mines, he's a big, big car guy, you know. He's wrapped your favorite celebrities' cars. So KSI's Purple Lamborghini, if you remember. Your favorite footballers, your favorite artists, all of them. He's wrapped all the cars. And you know, he makes a lot of money from his business. So I thought, you know what, it would make sense to get, you know, an opinion from someone like him and see you know whether it aligns with what i think about financing and whatnot so for me i personally believe that he probably you know finances or leases his cars we don't know i don't think he buys them because you know because we all know you know buying an expensive sports car isn't really financially wise but we don't know we're gonna find out so we're gonna react to this video see what he does and see if it aligns with our beliefs hi guys it's shani from yanamize and this is my three car garage Now, if you're a regular on this channel, you will know that I buy and sell cars a lot. However, I'm not a car dealer. You usually get to see a video of me picking up the car. Sometimes I don't even get a chance to wrap it. And then you see another video of me selling the vehicle. I always get asked, do you lose money? How do you buy these cars? Are they financed? Are they leased? Are they rented? Like I said, these are big, big questions that need to be answered. You know, I need to know whether you don't, because me personally, I want a lease in the future. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because of opportunity costs. I can use my money. It's a banner card to invest into property or to forex or whatnot to make more money, my money. Do you understand? So these questions are big. It needs to be answered. I want to hear it from the man himself. So this is a good video. You purchase them outright. You change your cars more than I change my socks. I think you need to change your socks a little bit more, mate. Today, I'm going to answer all those questions. But first, let me show you my three cars. So first up, we have my Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster. This is one of 500. I purchased this car maybe a year and a mm. half ago from a friend of mine called Sammy Dehan. But this car is originally a HRA Lambo car. Secondly, you have my Lamborghini Urus that I purchased. I want these cars, I like this one the most, man. I like SUVs, I don't know why. I'm so young, but I don't know why I like SUVs. Like, you know, someone, a young man like me, 19 years old, you'd think I would like sports cars. But I like SUVs, man. I like the Q8. I like the big cars, man. I don't know why. It's weird. It's very, very weird. I don't know why. But, you know, let's get with it. A few weeks back, again, from Lamborghini HR Rowing. Thirdly, you have my Porsche Taycan Turbo S that I purchased directly Electric from one. Porsche and AMT helped me to get this vehicle. Combined, I would say the value is around £750,000, give or take. We're going to go upstairs and we're going to break this down and I'm going to show you how I bought each one. Come with me. <laughs> As I'm about to go upstairs, I've just realized I do actually have one other vehicle and it is my Export M competition that I got from BMW Park Lane. So I actually do have four. You know, <laughs> you know when you're that rich where you, you even forget what cars you have, like, how can a man forget one of his X4s, like, this is a 20 plate. What is this guy on? Let's, let's find out, let's find out. Cars, you probably never see me driving that car. Why? Again, I'll explain it upstairs. So let's look at these in more detail. Renting a car. I personally never rent a car. One, because I don't really need to. Two, my friends all own rental companies. So if I ever am short of a car, they'll usually let me borrow it. And again, guys, you know, this is the power of networking. You know, obviously as he's built his business, he's probably developed more connections with other rental companies or with other people within the car industry. You know, he, as we all know, he's good friends with car. Um, Matt from Carwell, you know, he has those connects and I feel like, and I personally believe that networking can take you further than, you know, many other things, so like a degree or whatnot. Your networking skills, the people you know, it determines your network, you know, so again, le learn from the big guy himself. Why would someone rent a car? Wedding, want to show off on the weekend, mm -hmm. maybe they can't get finance, so they think, you know what, what's the best way to, to profile, to drive a nice car? You can put a deposit down, which is obviously, if anything goes wrong, if you crash the car, they will take that deposit. So it could be 5,000, 10,000, even 20,000 pounds, depending on how expensive the vehicle is. And then you pay for a weekend, a week, a month. But that is really, really expensive. That's true. And obviously it is short term, short fix. Leasing a car. People love to lease cars. I've leased cars in the past. Why? You pretty much always get a brand new car. So. You know you can lease the car for two, one year, two year, or even three years. Usually people lease a car for two or three years. You know exactly what the deposit is. You know exactly how much you're paying per month over a year, two years, or three years. 
so you know what that car will cost you. So for example, if you're paying 500 pound a month over 12 months, that's gonna cost you 6,000 pounds. And let's say you put a 4,000 pound deposit down, total is 10,000 pounds. So you know that car over the year is gonna cost you exactly 10,000 pounds, taking out petrol and insurance, etc. Now, at the end of the term, you can just give the car back. So you know that car's cost me 10,000 pounds. Mm. People say, if you lease a car, you don't actually own it. It's a gray area. If you, no, you have you a mortgage on a house, do you own no, it? No, it's, it's, it's not a gray area. It's as, simple as, it's, as, it's as simple as that. You don't own it. You never own it. You know, you're just using it. It's your turn to use the car. It's, that's how I see it. You know, I don't know why he's saying it's a gray area. You don't own it. Own it? Does the bank own it? Who owns the car? Does the dealer own it? Does the finance company own it? If you're paying a deposit and you're paying a monthly, over that period of time, to me, you pretty much own it. Granted, you give the car back at the end, but I think it's a clever way to purchase a vehicle, especially a new vehicle, without laying a big chunk of money out, especially if you like to change your cars regular. That's very true. As a young man like me, you know, I'm not trying to have a car for five years. I'm trying to switch it up and up and up and up, you know. I'm trying to have different sort of cars. So again, leasing does make more sense for me in my situation. So again, you know, if you want to switch out, and you can get a nice expensive car with as little as possible, it's a way forward. Like I do. Well, let me tell you how I've got my cars. So mm. I did mention briefly about the BMW X4M. That car is a lease deal. Okay. I've got that from BMW Park Lane. It's a 12 month deal, cheap as chips. That car is worth around 80,000 pounds, depending on how you spec the vehicle. 2,000 pound deposit, about 600 pounds a month. Over the 12 months, what's that? 7,200 pounds plus 2,000 deposit, 9,200 over the year. The reason they do a great deal is because if you're an influencer um, and you have, I think, over 100,000 followers, they will do a deal on a car to get it really cheap. That is why you see a lot of YouTubers and social media influencers driving BMWs. It's great. You put a small deposit down. That's very interesting, actually. That is very, I didn't know they do that, influencer deals. You know, that's why I'm on my way to, so you, know, you might see me in BMW soon, you never know, you never know, but shit, that's interesting. That's what I'm saying, that's why I like the man, he goes into debt, he tells you how it is. The monthly is not extortionate, and the end of the 12 months, you give the car back. So that is why I've got that car. It was a great deal, it was too good to turn down. I drive it every now and then, I might let one of my staff drive it, my cousin can drive it, but that is why I've got the BMW X4M competition. It will be gone within the year. So that car is a lease. Lamborghini Urus is financed by AMT, who I always promote on social mm. media. They look after me. You put a deposit down and then you pay the monthly. That car was 208,000 pound new. I spent around 50,000 pound on it, which is the Nero kit, the wheels, PPF wrap. So that car owed around 260,000 pounds. So that car is a finance car. So as I said, deposit monthly over three years. At the end of that three years, I will have a balloon payment to clear that car and then I will own it. However, I never keep my cars that long. So what will happen is I'll end up selling it in six months, in 12 mm, months time. Awful. And what happens is if I sell the car, the balance will pay off the finance and whatever extra is left will go in my pocket, which covers my deposit that I put on the car. That's what I thought so. Um, you know, with the Lamborghini, in my opinion, I feel like for those type of cars, financing, you know, I personally believe that Lamborghini is such a car where you're rich enough just to buy it outright, innit? Um, whether I agree with whether you fancy it or boy, it, it doesn't matter, innit? Because that's what you're supposed to do, innit? But, you know, if I also get a Lamborghini, I'll probably get, you know, an older rich, so that, you know, an 18 plate, 19 plate, and then buy it outright. I need to be rich enough to buy it outright, do you know what I mean? It does make sense, fancy in it, fair enough. You know, like you said, you can sell it off and then pay it off, but, you know, it's all down to him, innit? I'm very surprised they found it. I thought he bought it, to be honest. Um, but at the, end of the day, at the end of the day, no one knows. So you're just driving it. So it's all about image. Car. My Porsche Taycan Turbo S. That is another finance deal. Again, I purchased the car from Porsche. I gave AMT my deposit and I pay them my monthly until the car comes to an end. So that car was, I think, 160 something thousand pounds. It was brand new. Deposit, monthly balloon payment at the end which is obviously the balance but again it won't get to the end of the term so i'll get the money in from the new owner he will pay off my finance and any balance will go back in my pocket which is my deposit the advantage in the relationship i have with amt i've been taking cars off them since 2003 
that they won't penalise me if I come out of my term early because of the relationship I've built with them. Mm. The chances are my Porsche Taycan is not going to be around a long time. We know what I'm like. I do move my cars. But when you spend money with companies and you give them exposure and you look after them, you get the love both ways. My Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster. That's one of 500. When I purchased that car, I think it was worth around £360,000. I purchased it for less than £330,000. At the time, it was a fantastic deal. And the reason I bought that car, because it was going up in value. It was a great price. That car has depreciated. That car's probably worth £290,000, £300,000 if I'm lucky, to the right person that wants that specific car with that colour. So I've lost money. How did I buy that? I bought it outright. So I transferred the full amount of money mm. and I bought it outright to Sammy Deham. In my head, this car was going up in value. And at the time I didn't need that money. I wasn't working on anything, so I didn't- Notice he said, need money. Opportunity cost, I'm telling you guys, no. The reason people finance is because they need the money to do other things with it. They will to invest into elsewhere, invest into their business, invest into their portfolio, invest into the property. But like he said, he, doesn't, he didn't need the money at the time. That's why he bought it outright. No, he, like I said, he's probably a millionaire. He can afford it. You know what I mean? But unfortunate to him, you know, he thought got up in value, didn't. So, you know, you make those investments. But, you know, it's worth 290 now. He got for 330, 40K for a Lamborghini. Total ownership. You know, that's not too bad. You think, oh, am I going to put 300,000 into that? Am I going to do something else? I didn't need the money. So I bought it outright. That car's not financed. It's not leased. It's not rented. Um, you see the number plate on the screen. So many people, it makes me laugh, HPI in my cars. HPI is where you can find it if the car's got finance. It's incredible how many people are bored at home to just HPI one of my cars. They did that back in 2013 when I had my other Lambo. Does it matter whether the car's financed, leased? It doesn't rented? matter. I'm telling you guys, it actually doesn't matter. And the reason why is because, look, you can get idiots online that'll be like, cool, if you bought it, they'll be like, oh, it's gonna depreciate in value anyway. You shouldn't have bought it, you should have financed it. If you financed it, then you can get other idiots online saying, oh, you know, you financed it, you can't even afford it. At the end of the day, you can't make everyone happy. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you finance or lease, it generally does not matter. Do what makes you happy, do what, just do what fits your financial situation. You know, a lot, I understand the hate is getting, it, it happens, it happens, bro. It really happens. The guy on the internet, who cares what that guy's doing? Whether that guy's fronting for the gram or that guy's the real deal and he's got money. It doesn't affect you. That person doesn't it pay doesn't. your bills. So try not to worry about what other people are doing there and worry you about yourself. Uh, but you as go. I said, that car's bought outright. What have I done to that car? Literally, it was tinted and it's got clear PPF over the whole car. Because it is a one of 500 vehicle, I didn't want to put a wrap on it. I didn't want to do anything to it. The whole idea was not really to drive it too much. You'll see that I run it on trade plates. So if it ever comes out, I move it around on trade plates because the car is actually sawn because I don't use the car. I've got my other cars and that car was an investment vehicle. At the moment, it's taking a loss. That is one car. I'm actually losing money at the moment. However, I believe it will come back and the prices will go up. My first Lamborghini Urus, I had that a year. I put the kit on it, put about 12,000 miles and I still made around 10,000 pounds. Then you've got my G-Wagon. That was a G63 AMG. I got that on the Mercedes-Benz VIP deal. Again, if you've got social media presence, if you're famous, if you're out there to the masses and people look at what you buy, that is why you get deals on these cars. Bought it via AMT from Mercedes-Benz Direct. I put the full Urban kit on it. Of course, Urban is like my family. So That's something I'm gonna look into, you know. Um, you know, Influencers get special deals. I didn't know that. I really didn't know that, but it does make sense for business, so again, Guys, in the future, if you see me <laughs> with a G63, you know, you already know. I get looked after. Someone really wanted that car. They didn't want to sell it. They offered me more than what I paid for it. It was a no-brainer to sell. So I sold that car. So a G63 AMG is usually around 130, 140, even 150, depending on how you spec it. Then when you put the full urban kit with the wheels, the wide arch, that can be again 30 or 40,000. So that car comes in around 180 yeah, to 190. Nice. If you look online, urban sell their brand new cars, for over 200,000 pounds. Someone wanted a car now. And that is why I always manage to sell my cars quick. They will look online, they'll try and find a car that has got the kit, has got the wheels, that's a great color. Nine times out of 10, they're not ready to go now. You might have to put an order in and wait three months, wait six months. If someone's got the money and someone wants a car today, what do they do? What car has Yanni got? He's got the G-Wagon. He's got the full kit on it. It's got the big arches, fully specced up. And it's pretty much brand new and he knows it's looked after. He knows it's come from a main dealer. They usually message me, they send me a DM, contact me, will you sell your car? I get a lot of time wasters and I'm like, do they really want to buy my car? This person really wanted to buy my car. 
He bought it blind, sent a 10 grand deposit over the phone, and then come saw the car and then paid the balance. That is why I sold that car. So I made money on that vehicle as well. My Aurus and my Taycan are obviously sitting around now. My Taycan will be sold, I'm sure. Aurus mm. is not going anywhere. I'm not selling my Aurus. My I SP, like if it. someone came to me for the right man, I would sell that, but we know it's taking a loss at the moment. So I'd rather keep it. I don't need the money. The X4M is gonna go back at the end of the year. So that's that car. I ain't got any more cars. Besides from the smart cars and the Fiat 500s and the vans. I'm talking big cars and I'm, I'm a grown ass man and I've been working a long time and I'm a car man. But the majority of people will buy a, a 10 grand car, 20 grand car, 30 grand car. A lot of people don't have 30,000 pounds to put into a car, but they have 2,000 pounds to put in a deposit and they have 300 pound a month. So for 2,000 pound deposit and 300 pound a month, you're gonna have a brand new car. True. It's a no brainer. That is why you would lease a vehicle. That's what I always recommend. So if it's the lower end, definitely lease a vehicle. You're saving money. You're not gonna get hurt at the end of the mm -hmm. term. And as I said, you can just give the car back at the end. Granted, if you've curbed the wheel, you've damaged the bumpers and stuff, yes. No, but I would like to say though, that um, not every time you should be leasing. I personally believe that you should be leasing for, you know, no. I personally believe that you should be leasing for luxury vehicles, okay? Luxury vehicles. If you're buying a Toyota or a Ford, Save up and buy it full price, or if you're buying if you're buying an old luxury vehicle, so 2008, 2010, 2012, save up and buy it. No, I would only go for the lease for you know newer vehicles, newer like 2020, 2019, 2021. That's coming out very very soon. You know that's what I will for the lease. It does make sense, and it, and also for purchase requirements, in my opinion, I personally believe you should be making at least ten times the amount of the lease payment. If your lease payment is three hundred pounds a month, you should be making three thousand pounds a month. If your lease payment is six hundred pounds a month, you should be making six grand a month. That's what I personally believe. If you disagree, comment down below, explain why. But you know, there's some guys that will make twelve hundred pounds a month, and their lease payment will be like four hundred, five hundred pounds. I feel like that's just stupid. I feel like you're over leveraging yourself, in my opinion. They're gonna charge you to repair the car and put it back to as close as new as possible, but small deposit, low monthly. You don't have to worry about anything. Remember, that works on a lease deal. Do not do that on a finance deal because you put a small deposit down, a small monthly, at the end of the term, you need to buy the car mm. and that car would have depreciated. And then you've got a big balloon payment that you need to pay, but the car is not worth the money. Mm. Do the math. That's very true. Finance? With financing as well, you know, if you do do a, a small deposit and a small monthly payment, then that means you're pretty much paying a lot of interest. This is finance, by the way. They're, and financing you the car. They want their money back plus money on, on top. You know, interest payments on a depreciating asset. You'll be paying a lot more than what it's worth. So you do lose your money on that way. So make sure you do research into that. Or lease. So each of these methods to buy a car is individual to mm. you. It might suit you better to put said. a small suits deposit and pay small monthly. It might suit you better to put a bigger deposit and pay a small monthly. It's personal preference into what suits your financial situations. Don't get gassed by the big cars and the big outgoings and everyone telling you the cars will be worth a lot more money. Don't get confused. Stay in your lane. If you can afford to do it, do it. If you can't, don't. Mm. Don't try and impress people on social media. Trust me, it's not worth it. And if it goes wrong, they're not gonna pay your bills. Mm. We go back to the question, why do I buy and sell my cars? I'm in the car industry, I own a wrap company. So I always want the latest car. I always want the latest wrap on my cars. I always want the awareness, the, the promotion, the exposure. It's what I do for a living. So even if I do lose on a car, five, 10, 15, 20,000 pounds, the amount of exposure that vehicle's given me from Instagram, YouTube, mm -hmm. Facebook, yeah, we're on Facebook as well. Um, Twitter, it's incredible. It's more brand awareness for my company. And that is why I always say, brand everything. Everyone knows it's Shanamize, everyone That's knows it's me. True. And everyone knows if it's a bright color, it's crazy, or it's a That's bit very leery. true, you know, even with all the cars getting, it's the promotion, you know, when he's driving the street, people ask, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I wrap cars, check out my Instagram, it'll be on this car, boom, it's just a promotion. Even though he loses money in the cars, it still works in his favor. You know, he's making money. The fact that he has all these cars, he can now make this video. That this video is now making him money. He has around 600K views already on this video. You know, it's making him money. I feel like if he was to, you know, with all the videos that he does on his cars, like the Lamborghini, for example, 
even though it made the 30,000, 40,000 loss on the car in terms of depreciation, it's probably made more money in terms of promotions. Again, it's, you know, it's free promotion, really. You get advertising, you know, the, the, the ad revenue, all sorts. So it's good stuff, man. And it's a mad car. Nine times out of 10, it's come out of this factory. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you lot have been asking for it for a long time, so there it is. If you want more content like this, let me know. If there's other subjects you want me to tackle or talk about, I'm more than happy to do it. I'm more than happy to be yeah, real with you, you guys should, at home. I feel like you should. Um, there's talk more loads more videos to come, by the way, especially about my Taycan and a few other things that are coming on the way. But again, I always appreciate you. Yeah, definitely. If you're watching this, you know, like, you should do more topics behind the scenes, because obviously we all see the flashy stuff, but I, I like to like know you as an individual, how you think as an entrepreneur. I like, I would love to know more about that. Do you understand? I feel like you should do more topics on this. Definitely, it's interesting to me. Very, very interesting. <laughs> so yeah, it's, not, it's nice to see how you know, we, we think alike, you know, in terms of what you should do with your car. A lot of people think otherwise, but it's good stuff, man. You guys, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon. But yeah, man, I guess I'll see his you soon. Video will be down below. You. His video will be down below, link down below. Make sure to check it out. It's a very, very good video. You know, check it out. Subscribe to his channel. He's got some good stuff in there. Car wraps, all of that rubbish. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want me to react to anything more similar like to, like to this, comment down below. Let me know down below. Comment any requests. All of that, man. Literally. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Already know, man. Aye, it's Pokey Dex, baby.